Hello creepy people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell, we are going to be unboxing the December 2018 horror pack. I have all of the new movies right here that I need to unbox. I'm really, really excited. In my last horror pack, someone told me that I was really going to enjoy this one, so I'm very anxious to get into it. So as you can tell, yes, I'm still trying to get caught up with these horror pack unboxings. It's just been like really, really hectic. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know what's going on. It is crazy. And if you're wondering about my look today, um, I was a brat style. <laughs> I did the brat style challenge, so I just kind of played around with my makeup and my hair today. So if you are wondering about that, that's what's going on. Again, if you do not know what Horror Pack is, it is a horror movie subscription service where every month you get four brand new horror movies and it's all a complete surprise. You have absolutely no idea which ones they are. Some are really good, some are really bad, and some are just okay. So if you yourself are a big horror movie fan and collector, like myself and you want to check Core Pack out, I will have a link right at the top of the description box for you guys. Don't worry, it's not an affiliate link. It's just a link for you to easily click on and get to their site. So the last two horror packs that I unboxed, I filmed them back to back. So I wasn't able to review some of the movies from the previous month. So I am going to touch on three of those movies. If you guys have not seen my last couple horror pack unboxings, make sure you click up in the corner and I will have a little playlist that will pop out so you guys can easily click on them and watch them. But yes, I picked three movies from the previous previous horror packs that I have never seen before that I watched all the way through and I'm just going to give you a little bit of my review on them. So the first one is the Hold Your Breath movie if you guys remember me unboxing this. I actually really liked it. It was kind of like a B movie, kind of cheesy. Some parts I felt like were a little overdone. It, you can tell this was a movie that didn't have a very high budget but Nonetheless, it was very entertaining. I did really like it. I liked the concept of it. I just thought it was really cool, kind of like a cool possession thriller type story. I don't know. So I did really like this one. However, it wasn't like your high budget, really intense horror movies. You guys know what I mean when I say that? That one, I would probably give it maybe three out of five stars. Moving on to the next one, that is the Exeter movie. And I did talk about how I might have seen this one before. And when I watched it again, some parts seemed familiar and other parts didn't so I might have seen like parts of this movie before but I don't think I've ever seen like the full movie before but I did watch it all the way through and you guys I you you guys know who watch my videos you guys know I absolutely love possession movies you guys know I am just obsessed with anything that has to do with that kind of stuff and this one, I would maybe give it two and a half, three out of five stars. The main reason being when each person was getting possessed, it almost kind of sounded like they were using a zoo soundtrack as the demonic noises. Like if you've ever seen like, you know, The Exorcist or any other movie that has to do with like possession, you know, they kind of make like demon growls and all that. Every time someone in this movie got possessed, it sounded like either a monkey or a lion. Like, I don't know, the noises was just very weird. The acting was kind of subpar. The story itself is really good. Another cool thing about this movie is, is if you guys have ever seen the movie Don't Breathe, the blind guy in that movie is the priest in this movie. And I totally didn't notice that. I was like watching this movie and I was like, wow, his voice sounds really, really familiar. And sure enough, it was the guy from Don't Breathe. So I found that really kind of cool. And then the next movie that I want to review is this one. This is a Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. And as you can see right here, it is called Three. I was really kind of unsure about this movie when I unboxed it the first time. I just didn't know if I was gonna like it. I didn't think I would be a very big fan of it. Actually, out of the last two that I showed you, this one was probably my favorite out of all of them just because I love the concept of this movie and the ending is like such a mind fuck and it completely twists and changes on you. I found it really, really entertaining. Yes, it is about a rape, but there aren't any extremely graphic rape scenes in this movie, thank God. And all of like the creepy, gory scenes, I just, I really, really enjoyed them. So yes, those are the th main three that I really wanted to review for you guys. All of the other ones I obviously really like or I donated to friends to let them borrow, but these three really kind of stuck out to me and I thought I would let you guys know how I personally felt about them. Okay, let's get into the 
the December 2018 horror pack. And I know I am unboxing this very, very late because it's almost February or it is February or March or July, whenever you're watching this. So as you can see, as per always, we have four brand new movies in here. And I am going to start with taking the one with the slip cover on it. And the first movie of the December 2018 horror pack is... This one is Incarnate. Oh my gosh. I think this is like a newer movie, I think. Yeah, this is like a newer movie that came out and I saw the trailer for it and it actually looked really interesting. I think it's like basically about this guy who gets into people's minds who are possessed or something like that. So I am very excited to watch this. I did want to go see it in theaters, but I never got around to seeing it. So it's really cool that Horror Pack kind of incorporates like B movies, older movies, and of course newer movies in their Horror Pack. So I'm very excited. And on the back it says, Aaron Eckhart stars as Dr. Seth Ember, an unconventional exorcist who uses science instead of religion to tap into the minds of the possessed to remove the demon from their subconscious. When an 11-year-old boy becomes possessed by a creature of unspeakable evil, Ember enters the mind of the boy to attack the vengeful demon, but he finds himself facing the battle of his life and horrors of his own past. So this sounds like a really good movie. I actually might watch this tonight with my sister because I think she would really kind of be into this. So, all right, and moving on to the last three, I'm gonna take the one from the very top. And the next one is, do do do, yes! Yes! Oh my God, yes! So the next one we got is, of course, Krampus. I love this movie. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, what the actual hell is this movie? And then after I watched it for a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time, this is hands down probably one of my favorite Christmas horror movie comedies. I freaking love this movie. I don't know what it is about it. I just find it very entertaining. And even if it is Christmas or it's not Christmas, I will definitely still be watching this because... This movie is just a win all the way around. I am so glad I own this. It's actually funny because I was looking in the store to buy this movie like over the holidays, but I could never find it. And lo and behold, it was in my December horror pack waiting for me. So for those of you who have never seen this movie, I will just read you the back just so you can kind of get an idea of what it's about. So on the back it says, when his dysfunctional family clashes over the holidays, young Max is disillusioned and turns his back on Christmas. Little does he know, his lack of festive spirit has unleashed the wrath of Krampus, a demonic force of ancient evil intent on punishing non-believers. All hell breaks loose as beloved holiday icons take on a monstrous life of their own, laying siege to the fractured family's home and forcing them to fight for each other if they hope to survive. And then it just says, you better watch out. So it's just kind of a really cool Christmas horror movie. It's not like super, super scary, but it's just, I love it. It's it's great to have in my collection. I'm very, very excited. All right, and we only have two horror movies left. So I'm gonna take the one on the very bottom. And I feel like we're gonna run into a horror pack limited edition eventually. So this one is, da -da -da. ooh, this is called The Autopsy of Jane Doe. This is the special collector's edition. It has Emile Hirsch in there, great actor, and Brian Cox. I think this is actually on Netflix. I could be wrong about that, but I did actually have this in my list to watch. So now that I own the actual Blu-ray, I can watch it whenever I want for myself. So on the back it says, Father and Son Coroners Brian Cox and Emile Hirsch enter a world of terror while conducting a late night autopsy on a murdered young woman. So... I'm excited. Um, it just like little quotes from people on the back says, well, I'm never sleeping again. A fun, stylish, beautifully built, fun house of horror. And one of the smartest, most gripping horror movies in years. So that's very exciting. I can't wait to watch this. I wonder if this is going to kind of be similar to The Possession of Hannah Grace. Because I recently did just go see that in theater. So I'm wondering if this is going to kind of be the same thing. But I'm very excited to watch this. Emile Hirsch is a great actor. Into the Wild, I fell in love with him there. So I'm very excited to see this movie. So far, I think the December 2018 horror pack is one of my favorites that we've ever done. Like these are all like super, super good okay and then we have one more horror movie left and this is probably going to be our horror pack limited edition that we always get and this one is called 
Jack Frost. This is a Horror Pack limited edition Blu-ray. Oh my god, how freaking cute is this? So I do own the Jack Frost movie with Michael Keaton in it, and that's just a really like family-friendly, sad Christmas movie. And this one is like a horror movie version. So, so on the back it says he's got ice in his veins and he's giving cold-blooded a whole new meaning. His name is Jack Frost. And then it continues to say, after five years of terror and 38 bodies in five states, serial killer Jack is on his way to execution. But a freak accident with a truckload of genetic material in the middle of a snor snowstorm mutates Jack into a killer snowman. Now only an army can stop the sleigh ride of terror from this frosty monster with icicle fangs. Hell has just frozen over. So this sounds like it's gonna be like a really kind of cute, cheesy horror movie for the holidays. I'm very excited. I will definitely watch this and let you guys know what I think of it. And I'm just like, I'm very curious because I love, love the Michael Keaton Jack Frost. That's one of like my favorite Christmas movies. So I'm curious to see how I'm going to like this one. All right guys, and that is everything that we got in our December 2018 horror packs. I am very, very excited about this one. I feel like we got a lot of really, really good picks. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. And I do upload every three to four days on my channel. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media links that are listed here and in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video and you love horror movies just as much as I do, make sure you go down, give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!